Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to an early morning episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, I am headed out to the lake here early morning. Uh, I'm typically not much of an early riser, even for fishing, but uh, got something really exciting happening today. Can't wait to get out here and so, I will get back to you guys as soon as I get to my destination and share what we are doing today. Looking forward to it. All right, there it is, guys. Sun is just coming up here. It's uh, early October. It is cold out this morning. Uh, my thermostat in the van here says that it's minus three degrees Celsius outside. So it was below zero here for the first time and uh, that means it's going to be frost on the way. It also means it's going to be a little bit chilly on the lake this morning. Uh, so that's interesting, but uh, hopefully it'll warm up when the sun gets up and it won't stay that way all day. Either way, looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning. So let's get to the water. All right, guys, there it is. Sun is just coming up. Got the angling spiders van and this is what we're going to be spending our time in today. This is super exciting. Uh, hanging out here with Litwin Fishing. James invited me out on his boat to McGregor. Look at this thing. What uh, an amazing setup he's got here. Beautiful deck on the side of his boat. Um, I haven't been fishing in a boat for quite some time, so I'm pretty excited about this. So really appreciate the opportunity and uh, really looking forward to it. All right, guys, before we get started here, I just thought I would share the setup of this boat. It's pretty amazing. So you can see the Garmin trolling motor up front there with the Garmin electronics. Um, and then on the back here, something that I've actually never seen before, this uh, Minn Kota Talon uh, shallow water anchor. Um, basically for anchoring the boat so that uh, James can get out here and go park his truck on him by himself when he's uh, fishing solo that's pretty impressive uh, works really good um, he uses it when he leaves his kids on the boat too which is pretty cool so yeah looking forward to getting in this thing and trying it out and it's a beautiful morning out here so winds gonna come up a little bit later they say but uh, that'll just bring in some walleye chop which is one of the things we're targeting here today guys <laughs> James just tied into one here which is fantastic Oh, that's nice. Nice walleye, man. That's a beautiful walleye. Holy man. Well done for a first fish of the day. That's a tank, man. It is. <laughs> Woo. I wasn't expecting that. It's a big fish. You want to hang him over the side? I just want to get a measure. Yep. That is beautiful, man. That is an absolutely beautiful tank of a walleye. Well done. Just over 24. Nice. 24 inch walleye. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I got one. So the boat's gonna shift as it comes in. Alright. Oh, I might have lost him. Yeah, I did. Ah. It's alright. Yes, I did. Nice. Well done. Well, guys, James has got us on the fish. Well, that's a good thing. All right, 
you guys. Finally tied into another one. Took a long time. No idea what I have. Feels like a decent sized fish. No, it's not too big. It's a pike. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy. All right, you guys. There we go. First fish of the day. Uh, little, little tiny pike here. Typical size. Thank you, sir. Not the walleye we're looking for. Not. That's all right. Look at the first fish. <laughs> you Yeah, that is another good walleye. I would have wanted these for walleye wars. Uh, no <laughs> kidding. Look at that, man. Another tank. Beauty. Holy man. You are killing it. Wants to be hooked. Man, you are really killing it today. That is a beautiful fish. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. All done. I don't know, maybe I snagged something else because there is no fight here at all. Am I going to log or what? Nice, nice, nice. Whew. Thank you, sir. On the net, appreciate that. That is the biggest wall I have caught this year. Thank you for that. That is definitely my biggest wall of the year. Yeah, not quite as big as the two tanks that you brought in, but I will still take it. Uh, that's fantastic. Really, really appreciate it. Gone. Awesome. Woo. <laughs> you guys can probably see James is out there getting the boat in. Uh, we got about four hours of solid fishing in here and uh, as you can see the wind is just howling uh, and getting stronger by the minute so we decided to call it uh, only two fish for me today although I lost probably three or four uh, had some on and I lost them James had a great day out there fishing uh, caught a couple of really nice walleye right at the beginning there so can't complain about the fishing did pretty well but uh, this weather unfortunately is not cooperating so we're going to call it there so this is going to be a challenge in itself trying to get this boat up onto his truck here so i'm going to call it there and uh see if we can get this done so as i was saying before you guys uh mcgregor is a catch and release lake only and uh so they got some information up here just for anglers um i thought this one was really interesting so i thought i'd share it 
just talking about some of the size of the walleye in this lake and as you can see here uh, your 23 inches 23 inch walleye is eight years old so um, James was able to pull in two walleye today that were 24 inches so we're talking you know nine or ten year old fish um, so great that we could get those released and back into the water uh, I got that one that was about 22 inches so um, again really really nice that we could get a couple of those really nice fish so we're gonna wrap it up here um, as you can see like I said the wind is really pounding so we're gonna call it there it's it's only just a, just a early afternoon but uh, just wanted to take an opportunity here to thank James once again from Litwin Fishing for uh, having me out on the boat even if we could only make a half a day out of it caught some fish and uh, had a good time out there uh, if you guys have not checked out uh, his channel I will put a link to the, in the description below to Litwin Fishing and uh, would appreciate it if you guys would check him out he does some great videos by the way he's got some drone footage um, his video editing style is, is, is actually pretty amazing and uh, so you know I would, would really appreciate it if you guys were checking it out and I'll also put a link to his channel on our main page as one of our featured channels so awesome all right we're gonna call it there this is probably gonna be a short video just because we called it uh, early today but uh, I want to thank everybody for joining me and just to remind everybody if you like the video smash that like button hit subscribe and until next time good fishing <music>